Hi, welcome to this video today. Uh, it is the 12th of November, it's Sunday. We're going to be looking at what we consider to be two high odds trade setups. We're going to the charts in a moment. The chart setups are going to be USD JPY and Euro JPY. And we looked at them last week and we're looking for the yen to strengthen. It's strengthened a little bit, but it's going to strengthen a lot now in our view. 500 pips or more against the USD and the euro. And the actual way the chart is shaping up is warning of that. It's showing what is called distribution, which I want to go through in this video. And, you know, just basically how it can warn you of a big move, especially when it's backed up by our favourite tool in Forex trading, the Commitment of Traders Report, the COT. If you're unfamiliar with it, just simply join our mailing list uh, on the link beneath this video. There's also an explanatory video on it as well. But if you just want to watch the video through right now what we're always looking for is when smart money commercials diverge from large speculators we want to go with the commercials now the commercials are warning of a big move in the end so let's just go and look at the uh, commitment of traders report on the first. cot data and on the cot data it's always uh, foreign currency first so it's japanese yen v us dollar we'll reverse it round in a moment to usd Japanese yen. Now, someone actually very kindly showed me how to do the uh, positions on the actual chart rather than doing two, which I will do next week. I've just been a bit busy this week. But in terms of this chart, what is really, really interesting is I've drawn a black line here. It's through 100,000 long contracts by the smart money commercials. Now, we're interested in what this smart money is doing against lar large speculators. We want the commercials to go aggressively against the speculators. Now, when the speculators are going short and the commercials build up above 100,000, you can see what happens. Big rally, okay? They come up to 100,000 again, big rally. They come up to 100,000 again, another rally. We're at over 100,000 here, same as here. We haven't rallied yet, but basically you can see support is coming into play. That's obviously 88 on Japanese yen USD. If you reverse it around, obviously it's 114. Now, you can see the speculators are heavily short when the commercials are long. And, you know, on the moves above 100,000 by the commercials, the speculators get hit. They're going to get hit again. This extreme is a similar size to this one. This is basically a 500 pip rally, okay? I think this will be a 500 pip rally as well in favor of the yen. And what I've noticed here is uh, commercials and specs have flatlined this week. And what I mean by that is this is last week's data here, then this week's here. And you can see it's very little change in the commercials positions, just a slight increase. In the specs, it's just a slight decrease. The specs are more important here because the slight decrease shows they're running out of power to force the yen lower. We'll see that on the USD JPY chart in a moment. Now, we saw this on USD CAD. As soon as the commercials and specs flatlined, okay, the specs have run out of power, okay, they were selling the USD against the CAD. It then just immediately broke in favour of the commercials for, yeah, a 500 pip rally in USD CAD. I'm expecting the same again in, in, in this pair. So let's go and draw some levels on now the chart. chart. USD JPY, so we have things the right way round now. Now, in terms of the charts, I'm going to do, or chart, I'm going to draw my uh, levels of entry, stop and target in a moment. Now, keep in mind, this is my view as of right now. Obviously, things change in line with market conditions. You can follow uh, my daily levels in the member center on the click uh, or the link beneath this video. Now, start on the uh, left of the chart. This is the previous COT extreme we just saw uh, on, the, on the last chart, okay? Gets up to 114, specs buy, commercial sell, break in favor of the commercials, down to below 108 before bouncing. So you got a 600 pip decline, okay? What have we got now? We've got a similar uh, extreme between commercials and speculators with the commercials selling hard against the specs. And what we've got now is what I would call or what is known as distribution in Dow terms. We get a strong trend up, yeah, 
a little bit of sideways, another push to the upside. And now we're struggling to break higher, but we haven't broken lower yet, okay? So what this is telling you, it, when you know the COT, is the buyers, the speculators are running out of power to take out the 114 level on a closed basis. Now, if we look at this candle over here on the left, this tail, this tail attempts to take it out after several previous tests, yeah? Fails. This one comes up, tail doesn't reach that one, but it finishes blue. Then you get a hammer that smashes the 114 level, then a red, now a small blue. Now, for me, we're just losing momentum. The bars are just running out of power. So I don't see the 114 level being decisively taken out on a closed basis. It could, of course, but a minute, I just don't see it. I think, obviously, the odds favour a break to the downside. Now, from our perspective, we are already short from 113.80. So a little bit early, um, but we like to be early when we get these extremes. And we're going to add if we get below this level here. This was obviously the resistance up at 114. We got good support at 113. So you can see some attempts to get above 113 here. Come down, smash against the level twice. That candle decisively takes it out. Then we get a double bottom here. So it's good support. Now, if it is taken out, what we know is there's going to be a lot of speculators um, who are going to have their stops in this zone here. Okay. So if we broke 112.17 and you see a nice red candle, the stops will probably get run. Now, from a pure technical perspective, you might say the first support level is there. Okay. But when you get a cot extreme like this, you know, the first support level never tends to hold. That's our experience. Um, we should go down to at least 111, okay? Stops clustered and just gonna run. It's just like dominoes, okay? Now, because the extreme is as big as this one, we're even more bearish, okay? So our target for this one is 109, okay? I picked this sort of congestion zone here, okay? So if we break through 113 to 109, obviously 400, Odd pips. So, how much do you want to risk? Well, initially, I put my stop back behind 114, coming in fresh. If we break through this 20 day moving average, the green line should provide resistance. See, it provided support there and support here. It should provide resistance if we break through here. But just in case we pop back, I'd have my stop back there. When she starts to run, I would then bring my stop in a little bit closer to here. Okay, so 113. A, let's say 113.80. So basically what you, you'd have here is about 160 pips um, if you're using a, a wide stop, but you've got 400 on the upside. Um, you know, just from the previous cot extreme, we were able to measure an ambitious target, which you can't do just from pure technicals alone because you don't know what the buying and selling power is behind the chart. And that's the beauty of the COT, it gives you that insight, it gives you advance warning of big moves. Um, you know, I've always liked trading, you know, breaks from price distribution, um, or when it's a downtrend, it's called accumulation. Right, that's our view of um, USD JPY. Now let's shift over and look at uh, Euro JPY. On the Euro Japanese yen daily chart. I've got the COT net traders positions up here in the divergence. Now, regular viewers will know, obviously the CFTC don't give you data for the crosses, but you can work them out by just simply doing uh, Euro USD and USD JPY, totaling what the groups have gone, and you can come up with a divergence. And that's what we've done here. And large speculators, 4.87 to 1 in terms of longs over short, so bullish. Commercial 6.7 to 1 in terms of shorts over longs, so very bearish. Divergence between the two groups, 7.4. Um, from the perspective of divergences, we like anything above 10. You're normally going to get something in favour of the commercials, okay? So this one, yeah, fits that criteria. On this rally up here, the divergence moves above 10. We top out, we come down. Rally again. Divergence is still above 10 here. Come down. We are going to sell here, okay? So you, 
if you see our previous videos, uh, we basically come in through 133.50. We slice the 20 day moving average, come back to test it in the round number at 133, try to poke through it rejection, come down a bit. And we're coming back to the 20 day moving average, okay? Now, from the perspective of where we're going now, I think 133 is going to provide resistance, okay? So basically, I've pulled our stop down to break even. Now, obviously, if she rallies up through my stop, okay, I would be looking to sell her, okay? But what I'm thinking is the euro is probably going to break down, in my view. So what you've got is you've got the 20-day moving average in this trend line. Then you've got 133 level of takeout. Um, if you wanted to get in, I'd just wait for weakness. And I would just come in through here. Okay, which is about 132.70. I would have these little tails here I'm not really concerned about. You, you just want to get it away from the round number, then you can sell it, in my view. Okay, the stops are going to be all clustered around here. I'm looking for them to get run. And yeah, I've set it on the last chart. I'm not looking for the first support level to hold. I mean, so you could say it was about 129.50 here. I, I'd really go from the major support level in the short term, which is gonna be uh, 128. Okay, so I, I think we should get down to at least that level, okay? But you see over here, I've noted, the Euro rally on reduction of stimulus rumor it's 800 pips from that big break right up to the high. I don't see any reason why we can't go back to 125. Okay, so if you come in through 131.70, um, down to 125, that, that's a really decent profit, obviously, if we get there. Even 128 is pretty good. Where do you want to put your stop? Well, you could put it behind the 20-day moving average, but I would just tuck it back behind this round number, okay? And then you can trail her down. Again, you have to see how things go. Obviously, like I said earlier, you can follow us at our levels in the member centre. But I just feel, um, yeah, the euro has lost steam on the upside. Yeah, obviously rejected here. We've dropped down and formed another level of resistance, 133. We're going to drop again. Stops get run, hopefully to 128. And hopefully, all the way down to the 125 level. So basically, uh, another decent risk reward trade in my view. We'll just see how they go. I'll update them uh, probably next week. Thank you for watching me. As per usual, take care and have a good day.